Hello everybody, this is Naomi. Back to my 30 day challenge. Uh, today is day 24. We're getting closer to being done with this. Uh, today, we are going to make this here. It's called an accordion flip book. And the lady that I watched the video of this, I will have her in the comment or, um, description box and you will be able to pull up her video as well. So I'm going to undo this and I've done some things like she did and some things I didn't. Um, to start off with, uh, this was one. Let me get the paper pad. Let me see. Let me make sure. Because I used so many different paper pads with all of this, it's not even funny. No, it wasn't that one. Okay, anyways, I'll get all of that towards the end. But I put this in the front, and then I just come back and decorated it with a couple of flowers. I rounded the corners on this, and you flip it open. And I've got these little pockets. And she had the same thing that you can get at Dollar Tree. And here they are here. But if you don't have these, you could easily take um, and make one of, get one of the uh, baseball sleeves and just cut around one of those and put it in here. So you can still have it. Then I took some lace and made a pocket here. And then I've made a slide pocket here. This one has a flip. So there's that. And then this one has a tr an angled uh, pocket. And then I put one of these regular little pockets in here and then here's the back which is another corner angle pocket with some goodies in it and you flip it this way and I made another pocket and I put some stick uh, stickers in here another one of the pockets with some uh, cards another accordion style got some more lace and back to the front so I'm going to show you how to make this it's real simple it's not hard at all uh, she made this video make it look so easy and it really was uh, on the one that I'm doing, I made a mistake, not her, me. And uh, what she did, she took a 12 by 12 page and cut it in half. So it turned into a 6 by 12. So I don't, and she used like a solid color. And this one was a 12 by 12 but it was white on the back side. So what I did, I took and glued the two together, which really made it really thick and bulky. And I didn't want to make the second one that way. So I took an eight by 11, whatever cardstock it is, and cut it. <clears throat> to six but like I said it's supposed to be a six by twelve uh, so this one's not going to be as big and what you do is whenever you cut them in half 
you lay them side by side and you take a matching piece and you splice them together. One, this piece here, you'll need a one inch and then you score it in half and you just glue it together. So this one's not gonna be as big as this one and your pages for the front of this and it's you score this at four inches let me show you and the way she did it before if you use the the six by twelve you'll score it here then she flipped it around and then she scored it here you know and it come out four and four and four but where i didn't have any more double-sided I didn't want to do that so I'm doing mine just a little bit different than the original and then your pages <clears throat> that are going to be glued onto the front of your pages with margin will be a three and five eighths by five and a half so <clears throat> excuse me I don't know what the deal is with my throat this morning so we're just going to start putting it together I seen it I thought it was cute another way to send embellishments uh, goodies to people um, however you want to use it I mean that's what I'm looking for is different ways to send people goodies and they can leave it in it I mean until they use it all up and then they can decide what they want to do with it from there so uh, this one, this particular one, you will need five of these cut at three and five eighths and five and a half. If you do it the way I did it, which is eight, eight and a half by eleven and a half, I believe, the standard size cardstock, because this is what this one is. This one here is a six. A 12 by 12 cut in half which comes out to a 6 by 12 so this one you would have 12 panels to decorate this one you got 10 so make up your mind which one you want to go with so all I'm going to do is just come in here and as you can see I just finished that one because I wanted to see if I could do it and how it was going to turn out before I always make one to see how to do it. And once I make it, it's easier for me to turn around and reproduce it, if you know what I mean. So, just start gluing in all your pages. And I'm not sure what paper pad this is from. It was given to me and there was no cover on it and no name. So I'm not sure. But I liked it and I decided that I was going to go with it. And I don't know why, but today I just kind of went with that country theme, you know. Or maybe it's not really country. Maybe it's just, I don't know. But even on the first one, you know, it had more flowers and stuff like that. And... And as you see, I'm using the front and the backs of this paper pack. Mm. 
The only thing different is this one is going to have a small fold over and I'm going to use it as a pocket so it will still benefit in the long run. See what I'm saying? It has a flip pocket here. So I'm just going to use it to my favor. That'll be one spot that'll be my pocket. I'll just have to put me some decorative paper on it and call it good. Just like so. Load it over. And these don't take very long to make. The hardest part is deciding on what goodies you're going to put in. Because that's what took me the longest was trying to find things to stick in it. And I just kind of went with her rule. You know, her, she put a lot of the, what do you call them, those cards. I don't use a lot of those, but I've got them. But I thought, okay, I'll put it in the first one. And then the second one, we're going to go different on the goodies. We will find different things to stick in it. Okay. Just about done with this. One more. One more page and we'll put these down and As you see, same page, just flipping it over. And what these are, the, the pack that I've got here is an eight by eight. So it really come in handy. So, now it is all done. This is your front page. It starts this way. Yes. Okay. So, let's come back. Let's start adding some goodies in here. And when she pulled these out to do put her stickers on, it dawned on me, oh, I have those and I've never used them. So this, it just kind of woke me up and said, hey, you know, you've got some of those too, use them. Oh, you didn't. If I can get this back up before it seals to the page. Don't rip, don't rip, don't rip, don't rip, please. Yeah, I get. Because the opening is up top. 
Okay. Oh, goodness. But you got good adhesive, but thank God it didn't stick. Okay. So now we put two of those little um, um, see-through pockets in. And let's see. <laughs> And I think I think here I'm going to put a diagonal pocket in here. Like this. And all you're gonna do, and all I did was take a square piece, just like this. And put it in my cutter and then cut it from corner to corner. That's all I did. I got two pieces out of it that I can use one on one side and one on the other. And just come back and put a little bit here, a little bit here. That way you still get to see the pattern behind. I'm going to flip it over here. And I think I'm going to put it here. I've got it off just a smidge to yep. It is not lining up. There we go. So there's that. Okay. <laughs> Goes this way. Right. Okay, and now I'm going to put one of the water fountain clips in here. And I've already got them cut out. And they're, what was it? Three and three fourths by four and four fourths. You're gonna score it. Score, you're gonna do a half a score on the tops of these. Like I was saying, score these. So we're gonna score all of these. And a quarter of an inch. And then got another set here. I'm going to do the same with. Okay. So put that back up in my drawer. Okay, so I'm gonna take these and on the opposite end that you scored them, 
I'm going to round the corner. Okay. So Okay. Sorry, I thought I had turned it back on. Where your fold is, you want to meet the fold to the top of your page, just like that, and line it up. And you're going to take your second one, and you're going to do the exact same thing. Put your glue here. Come on. I get frustrated with this glue. I'm fixing to try the barely glue, because I'm sick of this. Now just line this up with that one. To where it does the straight just like so. Push it down. There you go. And you're going to do this one, same way. And while we're doing the one, I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. And we can get both of them done, and then all we, we got to do is just put them in the book. So, be right back.
Now what are you doing? Now what are you doing? What do I know what the number of four then? Oh. Okay. Okay.
Big enough. Underwear. Still, I have a feeling it's gonna be entirely too much. Hmm, not so bad now. Maybe if we put it back. So, I've gathered a bunch of um, vellum, and I'm going to stick them in a pocket so that, say somebody doesn't have some vellum, vellum they've got it, uh, I'm going to stick some of these different little trimmy things. And I'm going to put, I'm going to put it in here first, like this, then I will put this back, so there's that, but I'm also going to take a couple of these little pockets that I used. Somebody may not have them, so I'm going to stick a couple in here. Oh, well, let's do it this way. Let's do a quick trim up. 
on the sides and maybe that way I can get it to go in. Let's see. Yes, no, maybe, almost. Hmm. I don't know, maybe I can get a little closer without, yeah, I can, without cutting the, okay, yes, so that makes me feel better, so now I'll just trim down the sides of this, like this, and I'll be able to send somebody a couple of these and that way if they want to make turn around and make the same project they'll be able to make it too so well I know what I'll do I'll put something else in with that one and put this one no nope, not gonna fit there oh perfect I'm gonna jump back and get it into that pocket Hopefully, with the, yes, let me round this corner, yes, look, <laughs> good, 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 now, they'll fit in there, and I'm going to, um, Put in a deal of lace as well. There we go. This is all ready. Okay, we don't have anything here. Well, we could put that. Let's put this in that. It, so that way we don't overstretch it. I'll put it over here like this. And what do we got over here? Oh, we still got a couple pockets here. So we got two things over here we can put things in. Bear up. Okay, so. I found some different little things that I can stick in here. They might be able to use them for their journals or whatever. So there's that. So let me get, okay. So here's this. Let's use your front page. And you flip it open this way. You got vellum here. And you got your waterfall flip book here. I've put rhythm um, lace here. And then there's some border strips here. Eyelash trim here. And then we've got, oh, what do you call them? Those, uh, I don't use them that often. But I've had a bunch of them gifted to me, so... Oh, what do you call them? They're some kind of cards, but... Then I put in some pockets here. Here's another waterfall. And... I'm gonna get some... I'll get some... Trent, or lace. And... I'm going to use the other one as a measure because that's the right size. Trim her up. Just like so. Do a little bow. I 
And there's your beautiful little flip book. So if you like my tutorial, hit the like and subscribe. Help me keep crafting and help me keep growing. Um, and like I said, I will put the link down below of the lady that I learned this from. She made it easy and I followed her. Like I said, this one was the first one that she made and I followed it along with her. And then the second one, like I said, I ran out of, um, uh, didn't have any of the double sided 12 by 12 and didn't want to double back it. So I just changed it up a little. So that's where we came up with this one. It's the eight by eight and a half by 11 and a half or whatever the standard cardstock paper is. But you got two. One I added what she added in it. This one is my version and I added things that I know people like. Everybody's always looking for this eyelash trim and stuff like that and I, like I said I added some of those pockets so if they decide they want to make the same thing for somebody else or even for themselves they can make another one so thank you and if you like my video hit the like and subscribe and thank you and have a blessed day